we had some time to really have you to call and talk to me a little about this uh, in terms of um, uh, what the they have, what the president is proposing here, uh, and, um, and, and 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 in terms of and how this is going to affect us, how this is going to affect the poor, uh, and so I'm just uh, I'm going through this thing here, and I got this document here that basically uh, that has the uh, the um, sort of like the lack of a better word manifest the uh, manifesto uh, from the black caucus to the president but then i'm also looking at what the president for the most part has ignored uh, what they supported the, that they have uh, um, given to him and uh, again which well, i can go through this thing here but i think my sisters and brother we need to have some conversation about this uh in terms of um uh, of um of the budget uh, that the po that the president is proposing to the Congress, and where are we in this? Yeah, where are we in this? That's the thing that we got to be concerned about here, is where are we uh, in this? And um, uh, uh, so let me uh, see if I can give you some uh, a, um, a, a some excerpts from this, and, and perhaps I can uh, can do just that, and, and can maybe get you started in, in terms of talking to us about it. Uh, and but I'm just saying to you is is that uh, somehow some kind of way uh, we 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 going to have to get the people uh, that represent us not to resist uh, this president but try to engage him and try to make sure that he uh, does not get uh, us uh, in all of this because I see little nothing in here. Uh, I mean, even to the point where they talk about uh, subtracting uh, money from the education. Uh, uh, we're talking about the proposed budgets in 2019, 14% uh, cut in, in HUD, uh, amounting to about $2.8 billion uh, to that particular agency. Uh, and uh, the, uh, so I'm aware this, uh, where basically uh, this uh, agency was spending about Forty-eight billion. Uh, now that's been cut uh, to like, uh, I mean, six billion. I mean, that's unbelievable. I'm talking about this is where uh, where um, um, uh, Ben Carson uh, is, is, where his army is. And Sydney, <laughs> he's got to Sydney speak up. You know, there's Mr. President, you just can't do this. You just can't do this. And so we talk about prisons and, and, and closing two regional offices, and they talk about prisons and, and um, uh, those kind of things. What's happening? But no, nothing in here about reform. Nothing in here about reform, or prison reform. And so I'm talking about uh, trying to bring up for this next hour, uh, my sister brother, what President Trump proposes cutting in his 2012, 2019 budget. And of course, um, this is, uh, I get this from the Washington, uh, the Washington Post as my reference here. Uh, and uh, again, uh, I'm just saying to you is, is that the proposed changes uh, to department spending levels uh, that um, is, is unbelievable here. Uh, and most of this money is going to uh, handle, handle uh, uh, homeland security and going to the armed forces. And, and so you got a lot of entitlements and, and, and programs that are basically uh, for the poor uh, that's, that's being sacrificed here in order to deal with this um, uh, with this bu the budget for the armed forces. And then we can talk about uh, what he's talking about here in terms of um, uh, in terms of um, uh, infrastructure here. He's expecting <laughs> here it is right here. He's expecting that the states. Uh, will kick in about 80%. Uh, uh, and, and many of the states are just strapped with money for money. So why, how are they going to get the money to help the infrastructure? I mean, this is, um, anyway, uh, the 313-778-7600 is the call, is the number. And you certainly give us a call. Uh, I think we have uh, Anonymous. Um, um, call the Hardy this afternoon. Charles, how are you? Hi, I'm Charles. Uh, is this me? Yes, it is. Uh, thank you for calling. Hi, uh, Pastor Holly. Yeah. It's good to talk to a man of God. Thank you. Uh, I have a 
one of my gifts that I would give is, is uh, maybe the gift of good information. Okay. And I have good health. And one of the things that I, I know is that God knows that if I find out something that's good, I'm going to tell it. <laughs> but I've been, uh, lately I've just been on this uh, uh, deal with this still water. And I found out how, how good it is for you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's real simple. Uh, you, you know, you are uh, just put uh, Andrew Norton weather, and uh, and he'll tell you the benefit of uh, of distilled water. Uh, and and just like we know that fluoride in the water lowers the IQ of children. Okay. And, uh, we should be we should be aware of that. Okay. And, uh, and I and I can I almost believe that. And you have some, a few people, you know, in, in your congregation okay. dealing with different health issues. Why don't you, why don't you uh, do this? I'm, I'm running out of time for this segment. Okay. 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 Let's just ask the number, okay? Yeah, I left my number. Good. Very good. I, and I'll call you back, my friend. I, I will call you back. I'm running out of time. Thank you. Oh, no, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the call. We'll be right back.